so we look at now differences between decision table and decision tree when to use what okay when we go for decision table when you go go for decision tree as we have already worked on decision table and tree so you should have some idea about the differences some of the differences you can go ahead and so now tell me what are the differences between table and tree first difference so what is the first one? table logic if else if else if so on otherwise so in case tree if 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 so on otherwise the second one yeah we can use expression builder here sorry what is that okay let's make it clear. we can't use expression builder we can't use expression builder so next what are the other differences so this looks like a table structure this looks like a conventional programming that we cannot uh, just point it out as a difference not required actually okay so next one what is the next difference we can't call we can't call other decision rules other decision rules but here in tree we can call other decision rules as this has an option what is the option allow selection allow selection of call decision option we have an option available under which tab configuration tab of tree so when we select this tree allows us to call other decision rules for results for results so coming back to decision table default nature you, you cannot call still we can call other decision rules by using odb function what is the function name obtain value obtain value this is the function which you can use in order to go ahead and call other decision rules okay now sixth question so when to use what when you go for decision table when you go for decision tree so exactly so exactly yeah i don't know why we are losing audio i'm sorry for your batch and it happened today so i'm 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 audible right am i audible yes i don't know it was fine for previous batch okay when to use decision table when to use decision tree exactly what is the business requirement you go for table what is the business requirement you go for tree see if you look at the decision table in a decision table you can go ahead and add your business uh, conditions you can add more number of columns here more number of rows Hang on. You can add more number of columns. You can add more number of rows here. 
and within the row you can add or conditions here you can add or conditions within the row see you can design like this there are multiple properties involved when there are more number of properties involved with a complex logic if you design a table like this with more columns added more rows added and with more or conditions added it will be difficult for other developers to understand going forward other developers cannot understand this table it will be very difficult okay so when the logic is complex which involves more number of properties better to go for decision tree how come decision tree your logic you can divide it into small different logics of trees or tables something like that okay together cumulatively call into one tree okay so now that makes sense you want to update any logic you can look at the individual logics in a tree okay you open the tree you can create you can divide your business logic into different small units of conditions so here you can call other decision tree or table okay different individual logics now suppose somewhere you want to use only this particular logic of small table or tree which you have created you can reuse so you are going to divide your complex logic into independent small individual logics everything together you are going to call into another tree okay so now what is the advantage of doing this it is very easy to understand you can open each logic and you can understand easily for other developers so execution wise business people they don't know whether you implement complex in tree or table while accessing it will be same for them okay so but a tree is going to allow you the reusable units of conditions can be created into small trees and tables together you can call it into another tree so suppose in a tree you want to use expression builder you have a requirement to use expression builder in this tree how do you proceed you have to create that in a table and call the table into tree okay that expression everything conditions related expression builder create in table and table you call it into tree your work is simplified so like this your decision tree is table is recommended with less properties for simple logic so tree is recommended with more number of properties more number of properties complex logic hmm. 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 okay fine more number of properties complex logic okay so we can divide the logic into divide logic into small trees and tables cumulate into a tree that makes your work easier for other developers also it will be very easy to understand the logic and all in a table suppose if i want if you have designed a table like this if i want to add another logic in this table i don't know whether it is already available implemented or not it's very difficult to understand for the developers so the development perspective you have to go with decision table less number of properties simple logic and tree more number of properties with complex logic okay so these are the differences between decision table and decision tree this is clear any questions any doubts see any requirement you can implement in tree or table logic wise see you have end conditions you have or conditions available within this so if you have such a requirement of verifying this or 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 within this cell if agency code equal to a or b or c okay you can go ahead and implement if agency code equal to a otherwise it will come here or it's like something like that it will be verified so like this internally if you have or conditions within that a or b or c or something you want to re return the same result you can go ahead and implement here okay here also you can do return the same result no issues but the, you have to go for the best design which is the best design you have to follow accordingly you have to proceed that so in a table if it is considered you can define everything at a single place and one result but coming to tree you can write here and some some other condition you have to write for all the conditions you will write are same result 
if it is being increased hues with complex logic n number of properties involved you design that in the ta table like or conditions in one place call that in tree based on some other property condition that will be easy to understand everything you put in a table one single table it will be difficult to enhance further it will be difficult to understand for other developers so that's why you create it into small independent logics the advantage of making it independent logics is again this separate independent logic i want to use some other for some other business purpose somewhere else in activities i can use suppose i define a logic entirely in a table all the complex logic so here a is equal to 10 b is equal to 15 some result a is equal to 15 b is equal to 16 some result if i want to use only this condition i want to validate in an activity i can i have to call the entire table now i am dividing this into one table this i am dividing this into another table my work is simplified i can call that independent small table into somewhere wherever i want i can reuse so dividing your complex logic into small individual business logics is going to make it reusable and easy for the enhancements the same concept here also in case of decision tables and trees this is clear everyone so these are the differences between decision table and tree so a business requirement doesn't talk about to use either tree or table it, it will not talk about to the usage of table or tree it's always a developer perspective how to process.